are halfway through the 2022 season here at the Stafford Motor Speedway as we race into Senator's Cup night this Friday night for the SK Modifieds, a special event that was resurrected a couple of years ago and won last year by a driver looking for his first win of this season. Yeah, Keith Rocco, who won in a thrilling battle with Todd Owen because Todd got under Keith, and just when you think Keith couldn't go any lower down the backstretch to make the turn three bottom shot, he did and made it work. Hard to believe that's his last SK Modified win. We've seen some glimpse of hopes for him this year. Other times he struggled, but maybe this is the time where he can finally get going in the right direction with this 50-lap event. Seven different winners this year, including a brand-new winner to this season a week ago. Yeah, Tyler Hines, who's had his fair share of ups and downs. We've seen him run the top five. We've seen him crash while leading. But it all came together finally last Friday night from the pin, led pretty much wire to wire, held off the field in a couple of restarts to get his first win this season, his third career SK win. It's a big one for him because that's his first win with the family team in 2022, the 58 KMP team. So good on Hines. Otherwise, in the point battle, Kopchik up there finishing second after starting back in 18th. I mean, going 18th to second in 40 laps in the SK Modifieds is not an easy task. Todd Owen was up there finishing the top five. So that points battle hasn't wavered much. It's still fairly close between those two. 20 points between the top two heading into this Friday night. In the late models, it was another former champion back in victory lane for the first time in over a year. Yeah, for the second time, he's snapped an over one year long winless yep. streak. Tom Fern getting it done. We've seen him take the lead early, and then about two-thirds of the way through the race, somebody gets by him, but not this time. The race went green to checker, I believe. It was a very yep. clean race. The field got pretty spread out, and Tom got the job done. We know he was close a few times this year. It's not like his car was slow. He's had a pretty sporty car this season, just needed a little bit more, and got it last Friday, finishing first ahead of Adam Gray, who's now got Four wins and two seconds in his last six races, which is why he is the point leader. And Michael Ray, who is the early season point leader, kind of quiet here the last couple weeks. Yeah, he hasn't had really the performance he's been looking for. It's kind of similar to last year where such a great start to the season, but then as the months rolled on, started to slump off a little bit. But we still got second half of the season coming up, so maybe Michael Ray and that 42 team can turn it around. Last weekend for the SK Light Modifieds, their longest event of the year, the Dunleavy's Modifieds Night, double the distance. Double the fun for some of the drivers, but not others, including a driver that was the early season point leader that has now fallen to third in the standings. Yeah, Tyler Chapman. He had a 52-point lead a few weeks ago, but an 80-point swing in two races. Now he's 28 points behind in third. Third to Chris Matthews, who won last Friday, and then Tyler Berry, who is the point leader, bouncing back for a top-five finish after getting black flagged earlier in that 40-lap event. But going back to Chris Matthews getting his second win of the season, this one did not require rain to shorten the event. But Matthews has been fast all year long. We saw it last year and this year. He and Chassis Pro have been such a good partnership. And Matthews, who we talked about for a while, hadn't won in such a long time, broke that winless streak earlier in the year. Now he's got two, and he's extending his mark as the all-time winner. And he hadn't won until this season since 2008, so I'm pretty not, cool. I'm not even going to tell you how old I was back then. Half so. the field in the SK Lights. They were <laughs> probably not, barely born. You're not wrong about that. But going back to the points again, Tyler Chapman, he still has time to get that deficit yep. back, but... Tyler Berry has been really consistent over the past month. It's hard to believe he hasn't had a win because he's got three second-place finishes already this year. So we'll see if that 18 can break through for his first win. And with such big fields, it only takes one bad night, and things will change. Yes, and Tyler Chapman's had two, and we've seen the result. In a limited late models, another new winner last week in what has been an ultra-competitive limited late model season. Eight different winners this year already in ten races, and Jeremy Lavoie, which you wouldn't have probably predicted at the beginning of the year would be that last different winner to take the checker flag, but he got it done. And in the big picture, he's finished second and first the last two races while Hammond has scored a sixth and a third. So the point gap is really close. When I say close, two points, that's one position on the track. So Hammond still has the point lead, but Lavoie still has that momentum. And going back to the competition, I mean, what is it, seven different winners in the last seven races? Seven for seven. Looking for number eight this week. Who could it be? Uh, you got guys like Kevin Cormier who have been strong all season long. He had a second place run earlier this year. Maybe he'll be close to getting that W. And we'll wrap up with the street stocks. The biggest gap that we have seen in the championship standings, it's been a Travis Hyde arc kind of year. Well, when you have a top five finish in every race except one, mm -hmm. I guess that helps. Plus three wins. So his one DNF this year was the one low point because of a flat tire while leading. 
But otherwise, he's just been so consistent. And I mentioned before, staying consistent through that summer stretch is really vital for that team because that's what cost them a chance at the championship last year. But when it comes to victory lane, Adrian Paradis, who missed a feature not that long ago, ever since then, he's been top five, top five, top five. He took the lead, held off Nick Hovey, and got his second career street stock win, first in almost a calendar year. Actually, I think it's just over a calendar year. But good for the 19 team. That's a backup car because he wrecked his primary car earlier in the season battling for the win against Travis Hydar and Ryan Waterman. So Parrott has had confidence that the backup car could be just as good as the primary car, and he showed it. The newest winner for the street stocks here in 2022 in Adrian Parrott is just some of the storylines going into this Friday night. It is Senator's Cup night here at the Stafford Motor Speedway for the SK Modifieds. That means a special 50-lap feature. It all gets underway at 6 o'clock Eastern time. And remember, if you can't be here at the racetrack, tune us in at flowracing.com.